time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. We're going to do a request. This request comes in from my reaction to Sherbs doing the song No Turning Back. The YouTuber making the request goes by the name of Bill Fairbank. And Bill writes a lengthy comment and talks about the Sherbs and the singles that they released and where they charted here in the United States. Then Bill says, love how you do Aussie songs. Thanks a lot. I really do appreciate that. I'm, I'm pretty new to this Aussie scene. Next stop, Ted Mulry Gang with Jump In My Car. Or their version of Dark Town Strutter's Ball, Keep On Rockin', Cheers From Down Under. And I thought, Ted Mulry Gang, that's another one. I've never heard of them. This is, a, this, is, this is fun. And the song title, Jump In My Car, love that. I love that title. That is awesome. So I went to Wikipedia, like I always do, and sure enough, there's a page for Ted Mulry. Ted Mulry's actual name is Martin Albert Mulry, and Martin was born in 1947 and goes by the name of Ted Mulry. He did pass away in September of 2001. Ted moved to, the, to, Ted moved to Australia in 1966, and in 1970 started a solo singing career. Well, in 1972, Ted formed the group, the Ted Mulry Gang. They released their first single in 1975, called Sunday Evenings. It didn't do very well. It reached the upper echelons of Australia's hun top 100 singles chart. But their second single was Jump In My Car. That was released in September of 1975 and reached number one on the Aussie singles chart for six weeks. It was a monster hit for them. They had a couple of other singles in the top 10, but none to reach the number one spot, like Jump In My Car. So with that said, hey, let's listen to this. I'm kind of anxious to hear what the Ted Mulry gang sounds like and what the number one single, Jump In My Car, does as well. Okay, okay. I, I, I love the riff in the beginning. That beginning riff is, is really hot. I love that. And to me, I'm, I'm listening to this and I'm going, wow, this sounds like the pub rock that the UK was kicking out at about the same time in 1975. You know, groups like Bebop Deluxe, um, Do Dr. Feelgood, Bill Bremner. It's got that same type of feel. The other thing is Ted, uh, Ted Mulry, uh, the 
plays bass and sings. He he had started out playing guitar, and then when he formed this group, he started to play the bass guitar. And the group looks a lot like Badfinger to me. So, yeah, I'm comparing it to a lot of UK groups, but these are groups that I know. So it's like I'm, I'm trying to assimilate an Australian group, Ted Mullery Gang, to something that I can relate to. And, and that's that's all I'm trying to do. But it's a good song. I mean, it's just a great song. I, I, I love the lyrics, and, and, it's, and it's fun. It's, it's a fun song. Like I said, this is pub rock to me, and, and it's got that great sound of pub rock. So let's keep on going. Okay, a very short instrumental break with a guitar solo, but that guitar solo, instead of, um, I don't know, having more of a rock sound to it, it has a country feel to it. So we've got this pub rock song that um, is, you know, hey, jump in my car, <laughs> let's have some fun type of lyrics with a good rhythm beat to it, but then we pull in this kind of country style type of guitar solo. So it's kind of cool how they're mixing genres as well in this song. Let's keep on going. That's the turn of events in that song. First, he wants her to get in the car, and he's got all these um, thoughts of grandeur going on. And, you know, I'm not that far away from my home. Let's go to my home and so on and so forth. Then she starts talking back to him and saying, here's what I want to do. And it didn't match. So now it's get out of my car. And it's like, well, I thought you wanted me to get in your car. Well, no, I'm, we're not talking the same thing. Get out of my car. Wow, that was a real turn of events in this song. But I really liked it. I mean, this was this was like power pop, uh, like the start of power pop. And and so um, this, I think this may have been like the second song that I've done. The Skyhooks were very much power pop as well in Australia and about this same time frame and very pub rock as well. Though I think they had a little bit of theatrics in their group and were also kind of um kind of like uh, a bowie style band where they were doing a lot of theatrics in the group each members were wearing different types of outfits and so on so the ted mowry gang was more of a power pop hard pub band so they were they were kind of traditional pub band this is really a good song i i like this song a lot um very interesting group, and if, if you have some time, go to Wikipedia and read the page on Ted Mulry because it's, it's fairly interesting where they were going with their music. So 
I hope you enjoyed this. I, I know I enjoyed it. It was a good recommendation. Um, like I said, every time I hear a group coming out of Australia, I'm going, okay, why did Australia keep all this talent hidden within their island? Why didn't they let this get out to the rest of the world? Because this is all new stuff that, you know, I just never heard. And, and I listened to a lot of music in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. It wasn't until probably the late um, 70s, early 80s, that I started to hear more about Australian bands because they were coming over in the new wave. So this was great. Loved hearing it. I hope you loved hearing it. If you did, hit that like button. That would be really appreciated. If you have any comments on the Ted Mallory gang and the song Jump in My Car, throw them in the comments below. That would be really appreciated. Now, I'm going to take a link to this video, which I thought was a really cool video. I really liked the video a lot. Uh, you got to see, you know, this girl in this car and then the band playing the song as well. So it was a kind of a cool video. I'm going to take a link to that video and put it in my description below. So if you want to watch it again without me interrupting it, hit that link. It'll open up and play for you. The only thing I have to say about the video is this was taken from a TV show. So the audio wasn't quite up to, up to standard. But it was fun to watch. And the audio was clean enough to get a feel for the song. I'm also going to take a link to the channel that uploaded this video and put in my description below so if you want to see more by that channel click on that link it will open the channel take a look at what else they have now have you subscribed to driving with todd if you haven't you got to we're playing all kinds of different music on this channel a lot of fun stuff so if you go below this video below the title of this video there's a subscribe button hit that the subscribe button and you're in, you'd make me very happy if you did that. If you go over here and ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest videos. Again, a great recommendation by a YouTuber by the bill, name of Bill Fairbank. He, Phil, bill has uh, recommended other um, Australian groups and songs to me in the past, and they've always been right on. This put a big smile on my face. I'm hoping put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby.